Hi ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Calvin King and this is my testimony. Uh, so I was raised up in a Hmong, Hmong family, I'm Hmong so you know. <laughs> uh, my family believed in uh, shamanism, basically you know just worshipping our uh, ancestors and whatnot and to, and to me growing up I didn't really know anything about it so I didn't really care about it. And then one day you know I was, I was at high school and I was talking to Maddie Peters, uh, a cool girl. Uh, she was like, hey, do you want to come to Zero Gravity with me? I'm like, oh, sure, why not? Let's go. And I went one day, you know, and it was cool and all that stuff, you know, learning about Jesus, but actually having out, having play, having fun with uh, people my age and stuff like that it was pretty cool. Um, and then she was like, oh, why don't you come to Restoration Life? I'm like, oh, sure, why not? You know, so I went to Restoration Life for a second, seeing how it is and whatnot. And then I went, then that was a whole cool thing. High school and high school, there was a lot of influences on my life that you know was negative and positives. Uh, back in sophomore year, I, I started getting into the you know the drug game where I was you know I wanted the money and all the fame and people knowing who I was. But at the end of the day, it really didn't matter to me. Uh, I just you know I sold drugs, so ecstasy pills, so marijuana, so all the stuff just to fit in in a way, fit into how society works. You know, making it seem like it's cool and whatnot, but to me it wasn't really cool. I just did it just so I, I, could, get, I could feel like I'm in. Uh, and then I got caught up one time, uh, junior year, where we went to a dance, and one of my, my buddies who were, were, you know, he kind of overdosed, and he almost got caught, and, but it's a good thing that he didn't. Uh, we, we got to the hospital, he was good, he, everything was good, and my name wasn't spread or anything like that, but... It was just a very scary moment for me. I was like, oh, after that, I was like, oh, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. And I went, went to Maddie. I was like, hey, I can't do this. Can you help me? And she's like, hey, come back to church. You know, come back to church. And then I'll hang out with you. We'll hang out and figure things out. I'm like, all right, cool. Sounds cool, you know. And then after that, I got into a relationship with a um, relationship, and we ended up pretty bad. Uh, it was a bad relationship. Well, it, it was a good relationship, but it, we ended up, we broke up. And to me, it felt like, you know, the worst thing in the whole world with my first real relationship and I couldn't handle it so I went to like a whole year phase of just drinking, drinking, drinking alcoholism that kind of consumed my life and all my friends on the side they're like hey you know you have a problem dude you need to calm down you need to stop doing all the stuff you're doing but to me I was like whatever you know they don't know what they're talking about you know I'm doing me I'm gonna figure stuff out myself and be able to you know do this myself because you know they don't I don't need them so it it was it came to an event where I was just drinking and one time I just got a DUI because the cop was like, Hey, if you get in that car and start it, I'm gonna arrest you on the spot. I'm like, Okay. So all my buddies pulled me to the side, took me across the uh, block and that was the end of that and then the next day, the next day I was like, Hey, hey Maddie, I need I need help. So I came back to she's like, Hey, come back, you know, come back to rest life and we'll we'll handle it up. And so this is like a rare current event for me. There's stuff in my life that I can't handle by myself that then I turn to a wrong situation. So another hard time in my life was when uh, my mom passed away. Uh, you know, I was really, really mad at God. And I was like, hey, you know, God, if you're this almighty God, you would have you saved her. And, you know, you would have been able to be like, hey, you know, this is Calvin's mom. He's not, she's not going to pass away. She's not going to do this. So I didn't understand at the time. That you know, hey, you know, God has God has a reason why stuff is happening, and God's gonna make it work. So I, but I just got away from got away from church and whatnot to be able to live, live life by myself and be able to do stuff by myself. But at the same time, it was just like, hey, I couldn't do it. So I finally hit up Maddie again. It's like, hey, Maddie, I need to come back. I, I can't do this. And that's when I met Tyler and Isaiah. Uh, they're a big influence in my life right now. Uh, they're able to, you know, be able to be there for me to be accountable for them. And I did men's league. I'm doing men's league right now so I could, you know, have that accountability and doing young life so I could, you know, be more, you know, surrounding myself with uh, positive influences that would, you know, help my help me out. And just knowing, knowing that from when I was, from where I started to where I am now, I just know that I couldn't do it by myself. And community is a very, very important part of my life right now. Where I know that hey, you know, if I'm struggling with something, hey, you know, like Tyler, I'm struggling with this. Isaiah, I'm struggling with this, and stuff like that. Like you know, there's just people like that need that I need in my life to be able to you know live life.
live life fully in Jesus' name. You know, just don't. That's the only way I could be able to do it. Um, I tried doing it by myself and didn't work. So this is how I'm doing it now. So right now I'm just slowly walking through life, being able to do stuff. I'm doing stuff with myself and also with my my fellow friends, and being able to have accountability. Um, yeah, uh, that's my that's my testimony so far.